डॉक्टर अरुण जोशी मिसिस बीनू जोशी डॉक्टर हर्षदीप जोशी लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन इट इज ऑलवेज अ प्लेजर टू बी हेयर विद द जोशीज बिकॉज दे एज डॉक्टर जोशी सेड आर अ एक्सटेंडेड फैमिली टू मी एंड माय वाइफ एंड इट्स ऑलवेज अ प्रिविलेज टू बी हेयर इट्स ऑल्सो अ ग्रेट मैटर ऑफ डिलइट the jk news today is one of the leading digital platforms in the state of jammu and kashmir because dr arun joshi i would shy to call him the father of journalism because that will be a cliche he's a young man with a gray hair but he has grayed his hair on the streets of jammu and kashmir and understands the political social dynamics of jammu and kashmir by the back of his hand and understands the nerve and pulse of jammu and kashmir which is a very rare commodity in today's world because very few people understand jammu and kashmir and i rate dr arun joshi as one of those who understands jammu and kashmir and its intricacies Dr Binu Joshi is an iconic person in her own self she is very dynamic very very good organizer i got to know her very well when i was just about 21 and had just come out of the engineering college and we organized a car rally here Binu Joshi ji was the commander in chief of that organization and uh, she is was full of uh, energy and dynamism and that is where i understood her capacity to organize her capacity to manage and to manage on top of that dr arun joshi is not a mean task so i must compliment her for doing so well and she is a journalist par excellence she was representing the bbc and she in her own right is an individual who is a remarkable individual i must compliment dr harshdeep joshi the young lady is a good doctor and also a talented reader which i got to know in the last couple of years seeing her pulling out the cards I never ventured to test her tarot reading uh, qualification but very soon I will reach out to her to know her tarot reading uh, qualifications I must compliment the Joshis for this great effort of JK News today and I wish JK News today all the very best so far as this movie is concerned this is the second that has come from this JK News today staple and the first was ayad e kashmir which was also a very good production very thought provoking and today sangeet amir i must compliment all the individuals who have been part of the creation of this great movie what i was most impressed was that the stone has been made the epic of change in kashmir and it is a beautifully done movie kashmir is in a transformative mode kashmir is changing kashmir is peaceful kashmir is transformed kashmir is resurgent kashmir is back on the path of growth a resurgent society which is looking forward kashmir always has been a repository of great culture heritage and also center of a religious spring for not only jammu and kashmir but for the entire subcontinent if you go back centuries old kashmir has been the repository of spiritual cultural intellectual 
harnessing location for the world, not only India, but across the world. And it is a great thing that Kashmir is in a revival mode. Kashmiris want peace. And 5th August 2019, the abrogation of Article 370 has paved the way for the restoration of peace in Jammu and Kashmir. Nobody wants his child to die. 2010, if 110 dead bodies were there on the streets of young men, they were the bleeding hearts of the mothers. No mother, no mother, irrespective of the caste, religion, wants to see the corpse of his young or her young child. Because a dead child for a mother is the greatest tragedy for her in her lifetime. And those tragedies were many and across Kashmir till about yesterday. Today, those tragedies are off. The stones which were being carved for, as rightly pointed out in this movie, for burial stones for youngsters who would die on a path of violence unleashed by an enemy who was not interested in the welfare of the people, but to espouse a particular cause, which was not a cause for the welfare of the people of Kashmir, for the welfare of this country, but to espouse their own cause, a cause which was a dream, which was so abstract that it distracted many, but none could achieve that because it was an unachievable dream created. Dreams were sold to youngsters. They were emotionally blackmailed and they were dead blood on the streets. They were people who lost their livelihood. They were people who lost everything, their home and earth. There was, a, a, the Kashmir was always an epitome of secularism, coexistence, brotherhood and harmony, the ethnic cleansing forced by Pakistan. And I say that forced by Pakistan and not by the Kashmiri minds because I know the Kashmiri Muslims. Dr. Alan Joshi knows them. Best of best of my friends and Dr. Alan Joshi's friends are Kashmiri Muslims. They are secular, good human beings. But there were people who came from outside who neither belonged to the Kashmiri Muslim, nor did they belong to Jammu and Kashmir, nor did they have the welfare of the people of Kashmir at heart. They were not Muslims. They were terrorists. And a terrorism has no religion. So for all of us, the duty is that the task picked up by the government of India to restore peace, may lead to some difficult moments also for some people. But then peace is more important. Normalcy is more important. There are people who today also find faults in the peace and talk about many other things. But they have to remember a life saved, a peaceful street, a lal chowk humming with activity, a resurgent Kashmir is more important than a few people who have their ideas misplaced to be free to unleash an era of terrorism, an era of bloodshed. No blood is spilling in Kashmir. No Kashmiri must die for, because of any bullet. And that should be the objective. And peace has to be there at all costs. Peace has to be sustained. And we all must contribute to ensure that Kashmir becomes what it is, the glorious past of Kashmir has to be revived. Kashmir is the crown of Jammu and Kashmir. Kashmir is the crown of India and its glory. It's our pride and that pride has to be restored into a peaceful, beautiful heaven. I saw Helen, Sharmila, uh, Helen, uh, Asha Parekh and uh, Mumtaz, Vahida Rahman, the three graceful ladies of uh, Bollywood of the yesteria, enjoying a good breakfast on the lawns of uh, Lalit, 
And I was telling my wife in the morning only today, I said, look, they must be remembering the time when Shami Kapoor would dance and Asha Parikh would be also dancing around the Char Chinar and Vahida Rahman and um, Mumtaz must be remembering the great days when Rajesh Khanna and Devanand used to dance around the, the trees in Chinar, Char Chinar and around the Dal Lake and famous Sharmila, uh, famous uh, Shami Kapoor with the jungly songs and all his dance and drama and antics around Kashmir, Pahlgaon, Gulmarg must be a great thought for these three ladies and how happy they must be that they are enjoying their breakfast in the Grand Palace, which was always their home, away from home, and Bollywood's place of stay. Let us all in Jammu and Kashmir take a pledge to ensure that Kashmir is peaceful, Kashmir is resurgent, Kashmir comes back, Kashmir grows peacefully, and every person of Jammu and Kashmir prospers, and India is proud of Jammu and Kashmir. Thank you.